Ethiopia currently hosts over 1 million refugees. They mostly come from South Sudan, they come from Somalia, they come from Sudan, but as well as Eritrea and several other countries. The Ethiopian government and the people of Ethiopia have been extremely generous. They have received the refugees, they have provided them with land, and um, across the large Ethiopian country, you see refugee settlement on site. UNTSS plays a critical role. UNHCR is not a capital-based organization. Most of our activities for protection and solutions are outside Addis Ababa. They are in the regions that are in the peripheries, in the Somali region, in uh, Beni Shangul, in Gambela, in Tigray, in uh, in Afar, but also in the, some part of the Amhara region. In all these places, you are very often faced with um, security issues and UNICEF operates within these situations. So UNDSS is there, UNDSS is with us. My colleagues working on security, a partner with UNDSS and the colleagues are from UNDSS to undertake assessment, security assessment, to identify risk existing and the forthcoming one and in all of this in order to help UNHCR partners or the UN organizations to be able to deliver on our responsibilities to help the refugees, to help the internally displaced persons and this role is absolutely essential. Uh, the IRM security have a shared objective with the UNDSS in enabling program activities within the acceptable risk parameters. So we collaborate closely on information sharing, analysis, as well as coordination on field movements and operations. We have been very lucky to have a pragmatic uh, UNDSS leadership in country. Uh, so they. Um, they offer access assessments uh, and advisors on uh, constraints issues and all uh, uh, any vulnerabilities that may affect uh, the operations of uh, UNAFPs. How is UNDSS supporting all of these humanitarian operations in the country? Most of these areas, before any operation um, takes place, it's important that um, from UNDSS perspective, we have an, a, a proper analysis done of the security situation so that we can provide adequate advice to the various humanitarians in the country. Um, and to do that, we have to conduct joint security assessments. We don't do it alone. We do this in conjunction with our agency security officers who are also part of the security cell where we go on these joint security assessments, one assessing the conditions in the various areas that have been affected and come up with, with uh, security advice that would enable the ramp up or the increase in staff to these various areas to provide the necessary support. And these joint assessments will look at issues from the uh, terrain, the road leading to these areas, accommodation, areas where staff will work, and also trying to find out what other uh, security issues are in those environments and come up with the appropriate uh, security assessment and, and try to mitigate those risks that staff may face in these various areas. So this, uh, this is the first thing that we will do. And then, of course, the continuous analysis of the situation over time. Because sometimes the situation may change overnight. Having the security updates from um, UNDSS and uh, from the security of UNHCR gives me this comfort. For example, when I'm going to the field, I'm sure that the assessment has already been done. And uh, once it is done, I'm sure that it's safe for us to go beforehand. So that gives me the comfort to work in this hard area because of the security updates that we get and the ad advice that is given by the security. The uh, operation or the UNDSS. Security in general ends up being an expensive venture and it requires adequate investment. And these investments have to be done in time. Why? Because it takes time to get the appropriate logistics in place, i.e., appropriate vehicles, appropriate communication equipment, 
and appropriate staffing, both national and international. For that reason, we have to reach out to donors, such as USAID, uh, FCDO, uh, the Ethiopian Humanitarian Response Fund, and others who would come to the table and support, because most of these entities I've just mentioned uh, see it fit to also support the country in need, and indeed the most vulnerable in these societies, whether in Ethiopia or elsewhere.